I already knew what my routine was going to be. It's like go to work, come home, eat dinner, watch TV, go to sleep. Go to work, come home, watch, you know. It was like, do I want to do this for the next 15 years of my life until I'm 70? No, I don't want to do that. Anayaseo. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm Sue. I am considered a senior. I'm 62 years old. Uh, I have uh, two sons. They live in Sweden now. And I decided seven years ago that I didn't want to live in the small town that we lived in. And I happened to have this van, so I got into it and I drove away. <laughs> and I've been doing that for seven years. This is my van. She looks like a mess, but she's great. She just hit 228,000 miles. She's a 1993 uh, GMC. And um, her name is Gypsy Grace because we're kind of flying on a wing and a prayer. It's just a passenger van that I took out the middle seats. I used the bench seat for a bed and that's, that's pretty much it. I get in and I drive away and I like being mobile because I can move or if it gets too cold in Oregon, I can drive down to Arizona. And if it gets too hot in Arizona, I can drive somewhere else. Two years ago, I drove across the country to Vermont and New Hampshire just to see the fall colors of the trees. And it was a wonderful trip. It was over 17,000 miles. It went across, then I came down to Florida, came across through Texas and up to Arizona and back up to Oregon. So I just love the lifestyle. There's a lot of single women out there who are doing it. I have a kitty cat, but she's, she's not there, but I have a cat with me too. There's a lot more single women out there doing this than you'd think that there were, but we kind of hide, so you don't see us too much. <laughs> um, simply because I lived in a small town. Mm -hmm. My son had graduated from high school and had gone into college. I had worked for everybody in that town that I wanted to work for. I was laid off of a forest service temporary job that I had. I'd worked for two years with them. And I just thought, there's nothing here in this small town for me, I, you know? And I just thought, I was 55 and I applied for the position because they were going to make it a permanent position. And I just thought, I already knew what my routine was going to be. It's like, go to work, come home, eat dinner, watch TV, go to sleep. Go to work, come home, watch, you know. It was like, do I want to do this for the next 15 years of my life, you know, until I'm 70 and retire so that I have medical benefits to take care of myself because I sat in a chair for 15 years and I thought, no, I don't want to do that. I want to take my retirement now. So I say that, but I'm still working. I'm a photographer. I still work. Um, I've also done, in the last seven years, I've done retail work. I've worked at a hospital. There's a lot of, of temporary jobs that I've done. So um, I'm still working, but I'm getting to see the world too. I'm getting to travel and, and whatever. You know, during this COVID thing, friends of mine who were in four white walls at home and they were stuck, I was at the Grand Canyon with a mocha frappe. You know, I mean, yeah. and as soon as it got warm there, I headed up to Oregon where it's been cooler. And I've done so much. My friend from Virginia had never been to Oregon, so I said, come to Oregon. So we have kayaked. I have an inflatable kayak. And we've kayaked in a bunch of little lakes and on a couple little rivers. And we've just camped in some amazing, beautiful places. We don't do campgrounds. We do dispersed camping which is like on the national forest land or on BLM land, which is Bureau of Land Management. And so we find these places with apps on where we can camp for free. And we've had campfires and we've learned how to cook on the campfire and we've just had a great time. Awesome. So, yeah, so that's, uh, to me, it's yeah. it's so much freedom, you know. Yeah. I, I don't have a big income, but I don't need a big income. Pay my bills and pay for gas and food and I'm on my way, you know, and I can, you're going to eat anyway, so you could do it here, you could do it there, you could do it down in Arizona. You know, it's all the same thing. So, yeah, I just yeah. love it. She's yeah. 228,000 miles, and she's still going. She just turned 228, so I'm trying to get her to 300,000. <laughs> we'll <Good>. see. <laughs> so I don't really do van tours because it's chaos in there. So Doesn't but, matter. <laughs> People, they like just normal natural thing you know. <laughs> it's just a mess i have i throw no? things throw things in there i've got I'm rock painting things that i'm doing right now and i i just made um 
a set of poi. Do you guys know what poi is with the with the balls that you? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just made a set of those, so I'm gonna learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I have rocks that I paint. You know, I picked up some rocks the other day. I'm gonna paint some rocks, and yeah, it's chaos in there. And it, actually, you can't even get in uh, here. I'll show you one door. Okay, thank you. Wait, let me see if I I need my my keys. I was gonna tell you something. You asked me a question. Am I looking at Long Beach? Oh, uh huh. And that's just up the up the same thing. It's before Oceanside. So this is the chaos that that I have because I have too much stuff in here. Mm -hmm. See, things fall out. <laughs> wow, a lot, a lot yeah. of stuff. So this is my chair. And that's my table. Yeah. And this is an awning. I have firewood. Oh. I have recyclable bottles and cans. Uh huh. I just bought a Dutch oven. Mm -hmm. I have charcoal to cook on the Dutch oven. Yeah. There's some rocks that I just got to paint, mm -hmm. paint and make pretty. Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of see I have clothes hanging up. Yeah, a lot of clothes. And then I have drawers back mm -hmm. there. Yeah. That I have all my stuff, yeah, and then I sleep over here. Okay, there's a bath. Yeah, and I just okay. threw, threw a bunch of mm. stuff. Where's your cat? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where she yeah. is. Okay. So yeah, it's um, pretty primitive. It's just a passenger van. It's not a converted van. Yeah. And so, um, but you know, you stop at rest areas and you have, my friend went to uh, Cape Disappointment today because they have a campground where you can get a shower. No so right. she went for a shower today. Mm. And so, so yeah. where did you shower? Um, at the campground. You sometimes you don't have to stay at the campground. Yeah. You but you can um, you know pay a couple dollars and they'll let mm -hmm. you go in there and camp. And then you have portable shower. toilet. Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> If I have to in the middle of the night, I've got something I can do it with. But otherwise, I use restrooms. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. So I just you know here again, just this is so overpacked. A lot of stuff. These are all my my wow. oils and different things that I have to. I have transmission oil, oh. regular oil. That's windshield wiper stuff. There's dish clothes soap. This is some arts and crafts and stuff. This is for the cat. This is for the cat. Yeah. This is some empty rusty cans I picked up to paint. <laughs> okay. You're busy. There are a lot of. Sunglasses? Sunglasses, it's kind of my collection. Yeah, it's yeah. part of my collection. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a crazy person. Full of stuff. Full of stuff, too much stuff. Yep. Don't you think a little bit arrange your stuff so that giving you a little bit of room? Oh yeah, I'm always doing that. I'm yeah. always changing things around and trying to move things and yeah. those are magnets. So I use those for um, a tarp. I can put a tarp and I just magnet. And then I can pull it out and put stakes and uh, have an awning. Awning. Yeah. Are you taking off? All right. Good, Good to meet you guys. Have a great trip. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Be safe. Bye. 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 Thank you for your plethora of information. You're welcome. You guys travel safe and have fun. Thanks. You too. All right. So anyway. That's Thank how one crazy lady travels. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So today you're showing me your home. <laughs> This is your home, right? It is. I know it's, you know, it's not fancy. It's got too much stuff in it, but it's mine and I feel safe in it. You know, I have doors that lock. I have a roof that doesn't leak. I'm not out on the street and I get, I have wheels that go and I can go wherever I want to. You know, I feel blessed. I feel blessed. I think it's yeah. great. Thank you very much. <laughs> <Thank> okay. <laughs> we'll see you again. All right. Yeah, I hope you see you again. Take care. Take care. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Probably the only thing I can do is just like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, okay. I don't know how Try. to do. Yeah. My do it. Practice. So. Yeah. So I'm just learning now. Let me try. Yeah. Okay. If you look on the internet, it's P O I. Okay. Take a video of me. Okay. You're so in, so willing. Yeah. Have you ever done it? <laughs> oh! Oh! Ow! Are you okay? <laughs> oh.
up. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, you'll be good. <laughs> Thanks.